dark in here Sebastian always leaves his light on and all the light bulbs burned out like one had already burned out but the last two died last night when I came in to get everything ready for them so they could just do bedtime when they got home it was like pop darkness so I stole the light bulb from a little clip on light that you can even see there so at least there's a little bit of light but that's not like a full room wattage light Anyway, oh, you saw the mask, did you? 
Well, I was right. He was getting sick. Danny saw no snot, no coughing, nothing to show that he was coming down with a cold, even though his nose had run once or twice during the day on Saturday. He would never keep him there if he thought he was getting sick, but I guess he was just having so much fun and in the moment and he just couldn't even, he didn't see a single symptom. But this morning I heard Sebastian getting up and I heard coughs and coughs and coughs and like, so I've put on a mask right away. And I've worn a mask pretty much all day. My skin's probably gonna hate me because it's like ovulating time of month. So hormones are kicking, they're kicking. And this is, I'm just tired of it. I'm wearing like really warm clothes because I tried to get a bath after dinner and it was just one of those days where the bath water just couldn't manage to get warm enough to fill that wide tub. I can't wait to have a narrower tub. I don't need a tub that big. And it just takes so much water to fill it deep enough for me. I was like sticking out and it still wasn't warm enough. And I was fantasizing about wearing a sweatshirt shirt while I was in the bathtub. So I put on really warm things. I don't know if I need to sleep in a shirt this big, but anyway, basically my day was wearing a mask and knitting and I take little breaks to save my fingers, the needle stabbing them and just like the claw hand I have to make to do that brioche knitting. I made progress. I made it through the first, what they call a repeat of the pattern. For their full size throw blanket, they did three repeats of it. I'm, I don't wanna go past two. It's 80 rows, rounds for one repeat, basically 40, but for the brioche, you go around twice, once with each color for each round. And the rounds are getting longer and longer as you add more stitches. Each one is longer. You add, and the amount of stitches you add multiplies every time you go around. So, yeah, hopefully I can just do it one more time. And hopefully I don't have any problems that make me lose multiple days. I have a knitting group Wednesday, but Friday is when I could potentially give it to her, but it might have to be later. I might have to email her and say, hey, when do you plan on going on maternity leave? <laughs> she knows I'm making something. I asked for her colors for her nursery and she said white tan and shades of green and since the green options were mostly like minty aqua baby greens and I didn't know what her greens were I was like I'm just going with white and tan I think it looks lovely anyway yeah so that's the knitting I briefly went downstairs and did a tiny little bit of that random craft kit but my shoulder was hurting. Last night was the first night I did not do heat on my shoulder. And I thought, oh, I'll be fine. I'm looking at books to read tonight. But as soon as I rolled over to go to sleep, I was like, oh, I regret that. That really hurts. But then I slept and I was fine and it didn't hurt while I was sleeping and it didn't hurt when I got up. It took a little bit before it started, but then it really hurt all day. So I don't know why I got that little break from it. That was lovely, but no, I, I feel like I took a step backwards in that. So I need to do the heat since the bath didn't work. But what else? I took a Lego break. So I finished my Lego succulents. I wish I had more, they're so cute and quick. And let's see, Jax went to a friend's house, a different friend to play video games. Apparently he was fed pizza and since his friend and her mom had to go somewhere when their hangout session was done, he got dropped off. They just lived in the neighborhood. It was really cold though and she's on the opposite side. I've actually met her 
is totally on my own walking Ziggy during middle school practice school time. So I have seen her and I know she likes her dog. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I haven't met the family or anything. I just made sure Jax could reach me through his watch while he was walking there. Because sometimes when he leaves the Wi-Fi, either at school or here at the house, it just doesn't ever connect to cellular, even though I have cellular. And then I can't contact him, so it's like, message me along your way. Because I know if it didn't go through, he would have restarted the watch and then it'd be fine. But yeah, so I was able to check in with him. But he had a great time. He was away from the germ nest. I really don't want to get sick. And so far I've caught every single one of Sebastian's colds. Though a couple of them were mild and I could hide it. It was just like raging sore throats and some sniffles that lasted a week or two. But no, you better believe I'll start sink the second I feel anything. But I'm just going to be very strict with the masking it's just the one thing I can't control is if he comes to my bed in the middle of the night and is breathing directly into my mouth and I don't wake up to put on a mask so I don't know if I wake up sometime early ish like after five I'll put a mask on before I go back to sleep but I did order groceries while we were eating dinner and it's a Walmart week I'm kind of like mixing it all up now that not really concerned germ wise to go to the store. It's like more money wise. Walmart has a lot of things at better prices that they can just buy in larger quantities. So it's one of our weeks where we're stocking up on like all the lunch and snack packs kind of thing and then just doing our normal groceries. So I need to wake up for that. They're real strict about their substitutions lately and it can go very wrong if you remember the Cheez-Its. The Cheez-It incident, we're still eating Cheez-Its. But yeah, so I'll probably set an alarm so I'm awake for whenever they start saying, you have five seconds and counting to approve these substitutions or you get them anyway. <laughs> Probably it still won't be early enough because my window is 8 to 9, but even though 7 is early, 5.30 is earlier, normally I'd wake up at 5.30 on a Monday. It's a holiday, Martin Luther King Day. So it's good that I'll wake up. I can stay in bed. I just have to have a mask ready in case Sebastian comes in. Yeah, that was a very scattered explanation of my day, but that was what it was. I made waffles in the morning with that gingerbread waffle mix I got for 40 cents. That was a nice cheap breakfast. They were very good. Uh, nothing else happened. I got a knitting needle that arrived while I was in the bath. Amazon finally delivered it and it was like eight inches longer than the last one. So that gave me a little bit more breathing room. It was starting to look like I was knitting a turtle shell or a bathtub. It was so curved because it's all smashed on there and it's actually a square blanket. <laughs> Pretty soon though, like it's already too short for what I have. So that was the longest needle I could get, a 48 inch. Pretty soon I'll have to move to two long needles and I'll have two sides on each needle. And then I can definitely have it square. That'll be good for when I really want to see the size and judge when I want to stop, but it will be very fussy to knit. Uh, yeah, I think I, that's everything I can think of. I'm going to get him to bed and get the fuck out of that germy room as soon as I can instead of just staying there forever and not be wearing this. But anyway, good night. Stay safe. Be kind and don't forget. Wash your hands, please. Wash them.